Welcome to Cooking with Pick and Pay. I'm your host Vicky Moller, and it is Pick and Pay Namibia's birthday. So we are going to celebrate with a beautiful birthday bride and a woman, phenomenal local Namibian artist, journalist. I can go on and on. Top cherry, what? What? Yes, uh, I can't wait. I hope you. I'm a good. I'm a good cooker. You're a good cook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. So I'm gonna leave it all in your hands today. Please. There's please. a little something for you to just keep the throat. Yeah. Going. Please. Some passion fruit. Yes. I love me some passion fruit. Let's just cheers to Pick and Pay's birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to hey. you. Happy birthday hey. to you. Happy birthday! Hey, they didn't tell me that you were a, a talent also. No. <laughs> they didn't tell me that you sing. <laughs> Cheers, well maybe I'll be in your next music yes, video. Yes, please. <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers. Yes. Mm. I'm ready. I'm ready. Mm. Yo. Okay, so let me tell you what we're going to cook today. Mm -hmm. You're from Wallfish Bay. Yes. So we decided to go with local Wallfish Bay snook. Best. Ding, ding, ding. Mm -hmm. And with that, we're going to make sweet potato cakes okay i hope you like something sweet yes 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 please. and i have to introduce you to this if you don't know it yet i don't know it yet marula syrup okay all the way from namibia yeah. yes please i know that we always use the marula oil but mm -hmm. in this one we're going to use the marula yeah syrup. i know about the marula oil that oh. i use i have at home also yes yeah no I, I heard you like traditional food but me i'm love mm, it i'm not there yet <laughs> love i'm it, not love there it. yet <laughs> yeah i love it so um, let's get let's get cracking, and mm -hmm. while we start mixing everything together, we can chat through, yeah. and you can tell me all about yourself. Yes, please. So our first ingredient that we're going to use is two cups of um, sweet potatoes. Okay. So it's you can take that. It's crushed, and then it's crushed. Yeah. Okay. I get it like a fine hamak. You speak really really fine. Yeah. You go, girl. <laughs> you go. Yeah, you go. I speak Afrikaans. I don't think there's anybody from Movies Bay that doesn't speak Afrikaans because that's the national language. Thing. That's true. Yeah. That's true. If you are there and you speak English, people look at you like, Javel, chess or that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then okay. we're going to add in this is half a cup of flour, cake okay. flour. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we've got. Do I stay already? Yeah, you can start stirring. Okay. You go with that and then I'll just add the sugar. This yeah. is also like a half a cup of sugar. Okay. We like it sweet because the uh -huh. sweetness goes very nicely with the fish. You know yeah. that snook is very salty yeah, traditionally. Yeah, true. Then I'm gonna add in some. This is a weird mix. I'm curious eggs. to see how it comes out. Oh, you're gonna love how it. How will it come you're out? You're gonna love it. Okay, those are how many eggs? Two eggs. Eggs, two eggs. Okay. Yes. Okay, you got that. Oh no, mm -hmm. that looks good. Yeah. That looks really good. I'm gonna add in now one teaspoon of baking powder mm -hmm. as well because it's actually going to rise a little bit mm. and the measurements are very important hey yes it is especially with baking yeah because if you make a, a like just as like a little bit more mm -hmm. then it's ruined right it's ruined it's yeah. ruined that is so true so i see you actually do like to bake as well yeah you speak like every a baker. now and then <laughs> this is my secret ingredient cinnamon okay Okay. Is this for, for the color or it's for taste? It's for flavor. Okay. okay. The sweet potato and the cinnamon, it just all complements each other very, very nicely. Okay. Ah, the mixing is coming out so good. You see? It's getting there. Yeah. Hoi dai pap, hoi dai pap. Yes. Now I'm going to add just a little bit of milk. Yeah. Just to make it. But is there is there like a, a replacement for something like this? For example, you say in the cup, in case I don't have that specific instrument. Cooking now, like as as development goes, cooking has all this this new things, you know. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Well, I'm a home cook. Um, mm -hmm. and with the baking and stuff it's normally easy to use, you know, measuring the measuring cups items, and stuff. Yeah. But if you really, really struggle or you don't have the, the a um, measuring cup that's got yeah. the measures on it. I just use a normal coffee mug. Okay. That's yeah. also a yeah. 
Because I'm thinking of the auntie in deep in Ombili, but she wants to do it, mm. you know. But she doesn't have that that yeah. measuring nice thing. Well, you know, after years and years of baking already, you can already measure mm -hmm. by pinches True. and True. weights True. and hands and True. so on. See our mix oh, looks, mix looks amazing. So nice. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. So we're going to put this one aside. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your studies. You studied to be a, a, a journalist. Mm -hmm. I did. <coughs> I studied TV production. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, okay. I think with that, it, it came with me loving to... I'm a storyteller. Mm -hmm. I, I write books. I have books out. So when, when you are a storyteller, the next thing you want to do is put it out in visual. So yeah. the next thing I wanted to study, obviously, was TV production. So I can shoot my own movies, you know. Well done. Yeah. And stories, visual stories are actually so nice. Very. Because it draws the attention and you don't need to really read too much. Mm -hmm. You see and you already understand. And it helps, like, for, for any person to think, oh, this is my story, you know. Mm. For people to relate, like, oh, so other people out there know this, you know. Yeah. So when you tell a story, someone else can relate to that. That's so true. Yeah. And would you say that your songs are stories as well? No, my songs are only stories. Like, only stories. I tell stories. Every, every song I tell a story. Mostly other people I know, sometimes mine, sometimes stories I hear. It's Namibia, there's always a story. There's always, there's always a story to yeah. tell. That's so true. That's yeah. so true. Mm -hmm. On my juices. I tell you. <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. um, 2019 was a, f a phenomenal year for you. Yes. Mm -hmm. I read all about it, but let you tell me about it. You're the storyteller. Uh, 2019 is the year that I started doing music. Mm -hmm. And it was also the year that I won my first award because that's the first time I went to an award. Do you mean awards? Awards? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> awards. Uh, yeah. Um, my first year of music, I won Best Album and I won Best Newcomer. That was so big for me because, especially Best Album, the people I was competing with, I was like, no, definitely not going to get this. But then when they called my name, if you, even if you check the show, like I came on late because I was like, <laughs> no, guys, it can't be. It can't what? be me. What? Yeah, because. Uh, best album, I was against Gaza, I was against Tatebuti and Exit. Sure. And those are the three big, big names, guys, you yeah. know? So yeah, that was really something for me. So they say dynamite comes in small packages, yeah, right? I hope that. you like hot stuff. I love hot stuff. You love yes. hot stuff. Yes. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make the basting sauce for the fish. Okay. So, tell me, Monica, can I call you Monica? Yes. That's my surreal yes, name. Yes, that's my name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to go and investigate and mm -hmm. find out mm -hmm. about you. What is your passion apart from music? Um, I, li I love everything to do with um, giving back. I, I do a lot of community work, mm -hmm. a lot, because I know, I know, not in so many words, I know how it feels, you know, to not have, to not be able to, to not have, you know, the capability. So mm. on, on a daily, I really try to give back, to do something for someone mm. on a daily. Mm -hmm. That's and a very noble thing. And also, I love, I love, 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 love creating. I love writing, mm -hmm. basically story writing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I love film. I love a lot of things, hey? Like, now that I think about it, <laughs> I love a lot of things. But yeah. that's, a, that's a thing with people who are passionate. Mm -hmm. It's like, it, can't, it can never be just one yeah, thing. Yeah. Because one thing leads to the next. Exactly. And it's like, exactly. you're looking at the future and you want to build for mm -hmm. the future. So everything has yeah. to pull together. Mm -hmm. Like this sauce is going to pull together I, now. I can see it. <laughs> see it. So what we've got there is 125 uh, grams of butter, okay. pure butter, proper mm -hmm. butter, not margarine. Mm -hmm. um, then I've added in uh, a gram of... Um, Chili mm -hmm. powder or chili mm -hmm. flakes, actually. Mm -hmm. And then here we've got 125 moles of apricot jam. Jam. Yes. Yeah. So you can add that for us. Mm -hmm. And what the other ingredients are is we've got some crushed garlic, freshly chopped. So mm. I believe, mm, I, yeah, I prefer, I prefer the garlic. freshly chopped one rather than the one that's in oil. Because yeah. it, it's lost its flavoring already. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
And then my secret ingredient for this recipe is soy sauce. It's, but is soy sauce not like bita? Like, no. no I don't no, know no. if it's the name, but something just always gives me like it's bitter. That idea that it's bitter? No, no, yeah. no, it's not bitter. Why don't you try a little bit on your hand? Let me try it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's not, it's not bitter, it's not bitter, mm -hmm. at least. So I'm it's just going to put in a few drops in here. It's not, it's not bitter. Mm -mm. It's a bit salty, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm actually going to ask you to change your spoons. Yeah, Use for that mixing. One okay. For the mixing. And then we're going to transfer our pot to the stove. Oh, well, yeah? Actually, because fire, it, we don't because it needs to melt, right? Yes, yes, yeah. it needs to melt. Push this one to that side. Okay. okay. I will reach that. One right? Can you reach there? <laughs> <laughs> yes! You're not know. that short! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we want to melt our... Yes. Oh, it's already melting. It's melting, it'll go quick. Yeah. All of it needs to be melted, melted. All of it needs to be melted and all nice, nicely mixed together. Mm -hmm. You know, these, these famous chefs, they say they need to marry each other. Uh-huh. Oh, let's not go into the marriage topic, <laughs> man. <laughs> Because there was huge stories about you getting married ah, at some point. There's huge stories about me every season. <laughs> every season. <laughs> every season. No, but that was um, my my album name was Matrimony. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm that girl. I like to confuse people. Yeah, I saw that. So I had a whole bridal shower. People came. And, but it was not a bridal shower. It was an album shower. Okay. You know, so people Clever were... Clever action. Yeah. So people were like, oh my goodness, Top Cherry is getting married. Who is this person? <laughs> who, is, who is this poor person married to this, this wild poor person. Top Cherry? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the, the... Garlic and everything else. It's the garlic that's still hanging around, right? It's the garlic, yes. Yeah. So when it goes onto the fish, it actually forms this little sweet crispy bits oh. that's very very nice um snook is a very salty fish traditionally mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. why we're not going to put any salt on it that's from you when i think of you i want it when i think of you i need Okay, so what we've got here is a beautiful snook that we got from Pick and Pay. What I've did was I actually trimmed it off a little bit, yeah. cleaned it up nicely, then I added some olive oil yeah. on the skin side. Mm -hmm. And um, now we're going to put our sauce mix on it. Okay. So I'm going to give you the honors. No, 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 you, <laughs> you can just pour. No, I think you should pour. You want me to do that? Yeah, okay. because I'm scared I'll over pour or under pour. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Just like that. Not too much or what? Well, or you need to cover the entire fish. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, this is the mix that's going to make this fish the party fish. And now we're putting it on. Yeah. And when you hear that sizzle, it's, you know it's, it's good. Serious. Yes. So you keep you have to keep putting? Um, yes, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it first start cooking a little bit on the one side mm -hmm. and then I'm going to flip it over and then I'm going to also put a little bit of sauce on the other side. Yes, yeah. yes. I'm so excited. And then so once excited. all of this bits of sauce and garlic goes nice and brown, mm -hmm. sticky, then it's done. Then it's ready to be eaten. Yes. Yeah. Let's have a look at our Sweet potato cakes. Okay. So this is what it looks like. You want to have a taste? Mm hmm This. Let's see. So do you have options for, um, what, are, what is it called, dips, like? No, this is our dip. Okay. We're okay. going to go straight to home. Mm -hmm. You want to grab that? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Honest opinion. It's delicious. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Is it because you mixed it? <laughs> I think you so. You added the deliciousness mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. it. Tell me what
what is your plans for the rest of 2022 and 2023 and maybe up to 2025? Whoa. <laughs> that's like, let's go long term. Yeah, but the thing is, that's, that's the thing with me. I don't like to like say, yeah, you know, next year, because my God, you know, God, ah, the way I know my God mm -hmm. will surprise you with things. So we we're going to say like, you know, next year, I might just buy myself a bike, can't he? The homie has plans for you to get even a oh. rock, you know? Oh. So I don't like to say, like, I want to, you know. But all I know is, like, every day of my life, I wake up working hard mm -hmm. for tomorrow to be greater and greater mm -hmm. and greater. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the thing with me, being top cherry, first of all, being top cherry is a far-fetched dream, you know. Where I come from, there's no way. Like, there's no way you can become someone like Top Cherry because mm. you don't know anybody. You are from Wolfish Bay. You don't have the contacts. You don't, you know, so. But you did it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The fact that I did it, it I know that there's so many little girls and mm. little boys who have a dream to entertain. And they look at me like, mm. okay, wow. She really, she came from Wolfish Bay and she really went to go become that. Mm. Meaning mm. I can do it, mm. you know? So every day I know I can't fail. I, I need to work hard. I need to push. I need to do great because I know there's so many little girls and little boys looking at me with that determination saying, one day I'm going to be top chain, like you know? And I think that is that is what's so important in, yeah. in, in life today. Mm -hmm. You need to have that ambition and that drive mm -hmm. and tenacity. And yeah. school is important not so that you can just go learn about sprankana and whatnot. Exactly. It is so that you can also protect yourself when yes. you go into business mm -hmm. because the entertainment industry is a business. It, it is a business. It's that's about the money. Thing. That's the yeah. thing. And that's what I always say. Like there is the music business, and then there's a music industry. Too many people are in the in music industry. Mm. Too many people are consumed by the music industry. When I talk about the music industry, I'm talking about oh, the girls, the bottles, the mm. backstage vibes, you know. Hennessy. And then in the music <laughs> business, we are literally like four or five, you mm. know. When I talk about four or five, I mean, you align yourself. Unfortunately, the minute you leave your house, you are a brand. Mm. The minute you get out of your house, you are a brand, you know. Some people, you find them backstage just acting a fool. The person is drunk. Mm -hmm. The pants is to the knees. <laughs> and the client is right there. And you're just like, bro, what's happening, <laughs> yeah. you know. Because in their head, being a superstar is just that. Mm. You know, why is he popped off? Why is he known us? <laughs> but unfortunately, that's not how it works. <laughs> My last question, I guess, your message for Namibia and for all our pick and pay shoppers. Your pick and pay, your, but it, it's so like, pick and pay is really one of those brands that, like, it's ge from generation to generation. You know, you grow up, your mother giving you $10, which are, go run to pick and pay, go <laughs> buy the bread. You know, then you come to the stage where you go yourself mm -hmm. to pick and pay to go buy something that you need to cook because you are now big. Then mm -hmm. you come to the point where you are now the mother, you are in pick and pay, buying uh -huh. groceries. You know, it's really one of those generational brands. Yeah, we grew you know, up with it, now. We grew, everybody grew up with it. And pick and pay is 25 years this year. Big so girl, well, big girl. Well done, pick and pay. Assuming it's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> because oh, it's yes. a mother. They, you know, we, we got mothered by pick and pay. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. So oh, I would yes. just really love to say happy birthday to pick and pay. And the audience, please, let's flock. Let's flock there. Just because it's a birthday. It's 25, 25th birthday. Or 25, yeah. 25. 25 yeah. It doesn't matter your level of life. Go in there, buy $25 chips. Minimum. Buy 25 or 2,500 something or 2 million point five something <laughs> two five. <laughs> Just buy just Anything buy. two five, just buy. And with all the specials and promotions that's going to run this month on the birthday month, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you will be able to afford a lot of more. Course, yeah. Of course. One day, go panda shiri, make show hole. Oh, ha lang shiri, make show hole. I say I'm sorry.
you have it. The smell is is it's the smell for me. So the taste must better be. Hey, because <laughs> the hey, it looks so delicious. Being from Warfish Bay, the rules is you start with this girl over here. Mm. For the yeah. backbone. Yes. Mm. For me, this is the je ne sais quoi of snook. Yeah, I probably pronounced that wrong, but that's also fine. That's <laughs> fine. The it's zen... English French. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is a girl. Uh huh. Ooh. Squeezette. That sounds like a song in the making. Squeezette. Ah, Squeezette. <laughs> uh, on the birthday, 25 far. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. So are you ready to tuck in? Let us dig in because it's a cele, cele, it's a celebration. Yeah. Eh? Mm -hmm. Pick and pay at 25. We must eat, please. We deserve <laughs> it. We deserve it. Yeah, we must we eat. We must eat. Yes. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Thank you for watching Cooking with Pick and Pay with myself and Top Cherry. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, happy birthday, Pick and Pay. We are about to indulge in this fish. Please indulge there where you are because we are indulging here. <laughs> ah. And remember, like and subscribe. And uh, there's a little competition coming your way, so watch this space. Press the notification button. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I lied. I'm sorry that I said I love you too. When you said you love me. Smoke, smoke, touch, you wanna call it love.